to the couple lying in seventh place. This the uh, final couple in the penultimate group. This is Elena Belushovskaya and Sergei Potolov. Triple Salka. She just seemed to accelerate into that one. Double triple oh. twist. Triple toe loops. Perfect balance in the overhead. Very difficult position. Once again, a themed routine, Spartacus the music. Clever, clever idea. Just a little slip out of that spin. Just single Salkas. Just managed to land the double axle. And again, holding on to the side by side. But it's not as clean as we'd like it to be. <laughs> I just had the suspicion that they were looking tired and didn't seem to have the strength to hold that lift up either. Well, a great idea for a routine. They had the costumes, and certainly at times they had the choreography, but I just 
have a question here about his fitness. It really didn't look like they had the power to really deliver that routine as they can do. And there were times when it lagged a little bit. And as you saw towards the end, a couple of mistakes on the spins. Now, sometimes in the run-up to a championship, if you can't keep it going, get a little virus or something, it breaks up the training schedule. It can really show itself when the chips are down and you've been there at the... Uh, just having maybe one or two practices a day for a week. There was a lot of courage shown, though, wasn't there? Because there was a point in the middle section where I thought that uh, he in particular was uh, dead and buried. He, it looked as though he, there was no coming back. And then they managed to get the throw double axle out and the side-by-side -side double axles, which uh, all credit to them. He over-rotated at the end, but my word, did he fight? There's a lot of guts in not just singling out, but really going for those jumps. Yeah, that's important. So, so often we see skaters that uh, are feeling bad or, or not got the feeling on the day and uh, just singling out of the jumps. Not in the case of these two. They went for everything. And the throw triple salco at the beginning was excellent. The music's quite demanding from a choreographic point of view, I think, because at the end it really is going for it. And, and there you need all your batteries to be firing. And if it's not quite right, the effect that comes over doesn't have that strength. There's the side-by-side -side triple toe loops. He was fine there. That's, that's what he's normally like. He certainly looks strong at the beginning of the program. And uh, it's, it's amazing to me as well how if you're not feeling as good as you can and things aren't going as well as you want, that four and a half minutes seems like eight and a half minutes, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, particularly halfway through it. There you can see him just singling out of the Salco. She was able to get two turns on hers. I think it was around that time I was starting to think he doesn't look to be quite as sure as he would normally be. Now, when you get a little tired, you tend to tighten up a bit. The knees don't work for you. There's that throw double axle. She did well there. A little bit of a lean on the landing, but uh, hung on in there. The courage shining through. Remember, these two are lying in seventh place just ahead of uh, Dimitrov. And Rex, five the German two, couple that started this five group. One, Not a bad set of marks, 4.8 from the four German. Eight. Thank you. That's Elfried Beyer. Mark. Five one, four seventh, fifth five place two, from five the German. Two, and they go into three, third place at the moment. Eight, five two, five one, which will probably keep them ahead one, of uh, Dimitrov seven. and Rex. Thank we'll you. take a break.